Yo, what is going on guys? It is Midnight bringing you another video on Fairy Tale. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about the new unit that's released which is Angel. Um, she's a new limited unit similar to Midnight, Jalol, Guild Arts and all of those so as you can see here. Um, she's a Wisdom unit as well so what we'll be doing today is we'll just be talking about her skill kit. Then I'll show you on the tier list where we placed her for the PvE side of things. The PV, uh, PvP side will be slightly delayed just because we need to test the unit out in that mode but given the stats and the kit that she has already um leader skill we can kind of already make assumptions on where she'll be on the pve side so yeah without further ado let's just get straight into it so let's go down here so she is a wisdom unit as you can see here um, there's not too many good wisdom units that we have at the moment. There's obviously Juvia, Wendy, um, you could argue Grey, Aragorn, and Cobra, but other than that, like, they're not really like top, top tier. So we need a good wisdom unit to come out and we're going to find out today if Angel is that. So one thing about Angel is she has something unique to her, which is her skill one, which is Gemini. Essentially what this does is you... Summon a clone of someone in your team. That 8% there uh, where it inherits 8% of Angel stats, that is obviously going to go up as you level up the skill because this is based on level 1 skill. So that will go up uh, of Angel stats and will continue to last for 15 seconds. The skill cannot be cast if there is no ally to be cloned. The clone additionally takes reduced damage taken of 30%. So there's a 40 second cooldown and the clone lasts for 15 seconds so essentially it's a 25 second cooldown really unless the clone dies um so that's skill one skill two angel summons uh callum and transforms it into his sword and attacks enemies dealing physical damage uh to the enemies with a small range in front of her while granting herself a shield then oh, skill three she just does a beam attack basically in a straight line skill four um, she summons countless minor angels dealing physical damage to enemies within a small range uh, in front whilst reducing their movement speed as well as inflicting uh, uh, life steal basically so she regains health and she has small control immunity then her passive skill uh, upon entering battle angel will gain angelic body increases physical attack movement speed dodge and crit hit and crit damage so buffs all of her stats leader skill excuse me uh, leader skill is um, essentially she whenever she drops below 40% HP she has a chance to recover 20% max HP and is on a 40, uh, 30 second cooldown this is absolutely abysmal this is I would even argue one of the worst leader skills in the game so she's never going to be a leader increase HP by 15% that is crap you know, like there's SR units and R units that are getting 20% increases in stats here. So 15% is really bad. When casting uh, the cannon, you gain increased penetration for two seconds, 90% for two seconds, which is, I guess, okay. But for two seconds, like what are you going to do in that time? And uh, ally clone copy is now increased skill uh, uh, cooldown reduction by 50%, so making it 20 seconds, which that's actually not that bad if you get a second origin. It pretty much means she'll always have a Gemini clone up, which isn't too bad, I guess. Let's go test that. So, she is a physical unit with... Oh, God. She is a physical unit with ranged attacks, so pretty slow attacks, to be honest. I can't really show skill one just now, but I will show you it later on. Um, so, we'll just have to show you skill two. That's it. That's all she does. Um, this is going to be such a short video. Like, I, I don't know if you can tell, I, I, I've yawned in this video. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm already going to get bored of this character anyway. But yeah, let's uh, show you this skill. Beam attack. Now, it's good if you actually land it, but it's, it's not got a big hitbox. You can see here, like you literally have to get it perfectly on the unit. So again, you know, you can think of that as you will. Uh, then you've got this skill here, 
this skill I actually rate, all right? This skill is actually pretty good. You get life still, and you know, I know it's an ultimate skill. Uh, oh yeah, we can look at the full stats here. So, full stats on this, 47% of angel stats. That is shocking. Um, this one here, mm, shield's not too bad. Uh, this one here, it's just damage. And this, yeah, her kit sucks, man. I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you her clone ability. Is it here, or is it benefit? Yeah, benefit. Can I? Oh, I can't even do it anymore. Okay, well, you're just gonna have to take my word for it, I guess. Um, so yeah, essentially the clone ability, if you have someone in your party, she'll just summon them and they'll use their skills. Now that's like the only good thing about her whole kit. Her whole kit is absolutely shocking. Like there is nothing good about her at all. Um, you know, I know loads of people are gonna like comment and be like, well, actually the, the clone's really good. You know, you, you can use your clone. You can clone Midnight, you can clone Jalol, you can clone Urza. That sounds great, right? It really does. But you're, you're sacrificing someone on your team so your team of three, let's just go here. Um, so let's say this team right here, right? I'm gonna need to get rid of one of my team here to put her in just to shadow clone Jutsu, one of the other two, right? And you know, she's not gonna be the leader. So you're sacrificing one spot to put her in just to have someone on your team like fighting alongside her. I don't know, I really don't know. Let me check something actually. Yeah, this uh, the inheriting stats was 45% or something like that. That If that was higher, okay, fine. If it was like 80%, 90%, 80% I would accept. If it was like 80% of angel stats, then fine, I would accept it. Excuse me. If it was 80% of angel stats, I would accept it. But it's 45% of our stats at, uh, uh, stats at max level. So you need Angel to be like insanely strong just to be able to make the clone do a lot of damage because they're not going to be a clone of your main like character. They're not going to be as strong as like if I use her with Midnight. She's not going to be as strong as my Midnight. It'll be 45% of Angel stats. So it's going to be fairly weak. I could see it being okay in PvP, you know, using double stun, you know, popping around a team of Juvia or Hot Eye or something like that would be quite cool. But again, the rest of her kit sucks. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry if you, for you guys that are big fans of Angel. You know, I know you guys might summon for her just because it's her. Um, but you know, as a unit, we're just going to skip right to the tier list now. So bear me one second here. <clears throat> okay and we're back so with the tier list there is this is the tier list as of now this has been discussed by me and a few other top members in other servers and obviously this is pve including second origin and we've put angel at b tier she i would probably even argue she's weaker than that but you know you can get some use out of that that clone ability you know, if you use it right, you know, you could use it uh, to get a second shield breaker in Palace. You could use it. That's about it. That's about it, really. Um, yeah, so her, her, her kit sucks, right? She She's probably B to maybe even lower than that. Racer might even be better. Totomaru might even be better. Maybe even Leon and Elfman. I'm going to be honest with you. She could. She's closest to C tier out of any SSR unit in the game. Um, there are a few other changes in here as well. So uh, Hot Eye has now gone up to S, S tier and Ikaruga has now gone down to S tier. The problem with Ikaruga now is there are so many good DPS in the game. There's Midnight, there's Jalal, there's Luxus, there's Heavens, uh, Heavens Will Urza. Eventually we're going to get Mira Jane and um, you know, you, you just kind of lose that damage slot for her. She's still so good at damage and she does have built in dodge with her skills, but she's just lost a little bit of value now for the fact that there's other units that are out that can kind of do similar thing to her, if not even better. Hot Eye has gone up to SS tier. Um, 
we kind of reevaluated him and Juvia need to be SST because they're just such good debuffers and buffers. Um, especially with their uh, stuns that they have and their CC. So he's gone up to SS tier as well. As I said, this is a PvE tier list, so things could change in the future once people get tested out a little bit more. And obviously Jose and Mirror Jane come out. But yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, one thing I will say as well before I go, I probably won't be able to upload a video for a little while now. Uh, just because uh, I won't be at my home, so I haven't got any recording software. I'm literally just going to have my phone on me uh, so I can play the game, but I can't really record it. Um, but if you like to have updated uh, information on units or anything like that, I recommend to join the Discord in the description. Um, and then I should be back to uploading sometime next week when I get back home from where I'm staying. So it'll, I'm, I think I'm going to be back next Friday. Um, as of recording this video it is Thursday, so it will literally be a week from now So yeah, you're just gonna have to stay tuned. I'll try to keep things updated But if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section on any of my videos I try to answer to every single comment um, Or just join the discord and I can get back to you there uh, For any questions or queries, but otherwise this will be my last video for a week and uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Take care guys and peace out